For many people who overdose, UT Medical Center is the first place they go in an effort to save their lives. Doctors in the emergency room say they see between 20 and 25 people every day who have overdosed. That's about 10% of the patients in the ER. As people continue to die every day, those doctors are on the front lines in the critical moments that determine life <coughs> and death. 10 News reporter Mark Salinger joins us to talk about how they're dealing with the opioid epidemic. Mark. Robin and John, doctors are able to save the vast majority of those patients who overdose and make it to the ER, but what comes after is a battle to help them turn their lives around. Beyond the pain and chaos of the emergency room, this is where it happens. There's the one thing that keeps Dr. Annalise Cuddle awake at night. The fact that I, I can't get to them before they come to me. Dr. Cuddle's day is usually marked by a grim statistic in the battle against the opioid epidemic. Every day, She'll treat several patients who overdosed. We've had several very young people who unfortunately we weren't able to resuscitate. Far too often lately, she's given the impossible task of telling loved ones the true consequences of the powerful drugs. The hardest part of my job is telling the mother of a young person or the child, the parent of a child of a young person that they're wife or mother or son or daughter is is dead and that they're not coming back. About 10 percent of the patients who find themselves at the UT Medical Center ER are there because of an overdose. That's 20 to 25 people every day. We revive a lot more than don't make it. What comes next is a battle to find them help so that they won't end up here again. We can certainly help them and try to get them into treatment. Even if they survive this time, some spend weeks in the hospital battling infections from the drugs and needles. Infections are a huge, huge part of the problem. Every day, the battle continues. Every day, Dr. Cuddle prays. She won't have to tell another family their loved one has died. If I could never do that again in my job, I would, I would be glad. And Dr. Cuddle says she has seen a marked increase in people who end up in the ER after an overdose who have been revived by a family member or friend who is carrying naloxone at home. Robin and John. Another stark look at the problem. Mark Salinger on the story. 20 people have died of a suspected overdose so far this month in Knox County. The district attorney general's office says that brings the total for the year to 198. There were 294 suspected OD deaths in Knox County last year. If you or someone that you know needs help, we do have a list of resources online at WBIR.com. Just go to the menu at the top of the screen and click on the features tab and then scroll down and choose OD epidemic.